Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We are at Lost Hills Harley Davidson, LostHillsHD.com. This is a Harley Davidson Lowrider S, but it's not just any Lowrider S. This one's been tuned, it's got a pipe, it's got a, some other magic sauce put on it. Puts out a whopping 108 horsepower at the back wheel, 133 foot-pounds of torque. And you know what? Let's go take that hot rod for a spin. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, the songs of the gods. Holy moly. That's that Bassani, Bassani exhaust. Amazing, amazing. Saddleman seat is very uh, interesting to say the least. Definitely holds you in place. This is what Harley calls mid controls. I get a kick out of that. For most others, motorcycles, that would be a uh, forward control. <laughs> I love it. Let's do a quick lap around the parking lot just to see what we got. If you're all in the market for a new or used Harley Davidson, get yourself down here to Lus Hills Harley Davidson, LusHillsHD.com. They have got it all. Over 200 bikes on site, new and used. Great staff, great location. Wahoo! Gotta get used to it, gotta get used to it. What a hot rod, this thing is smoking. 108 horsepower at the back wheel. 133 foot-pounds of torque at the back wheel. That is phenomenal. 117 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 engine that has been treated properly. They put a special Harley-Davidson Pro Tuner on it. Gave it an extra special tune. I think it's running stock uh, intake and other things like that. You know, Dual disc brakes in the front of this, I believe. Four piston calipers. I think the rotors are uh, 300 millimeter. Oh, it picks up so nicely. What a machine. There is a gear indicator down here. Fuel gauge. At 60 miles an hour, looks like we're talking about 2400. I love the way it handles. The bars up like this are awesome. Seating position on the four lanes is excellent. I'm sitting straight up and down. My heels are uh, directly below my knees. My legs, upper legs are about parallel with the ground, maybe a little upstream towards my knees. Oh, the clutch feels so good. These levers are interesting. Um, they're a little shorty and they're also uh, adjustable. I'm not sure what they call them, but they're certainly nice. <laughs> Bassani pipe is amazing. Oh, holy moly. Absolutely amazing. The torque is phenomenal. It's just, it just spits to life. Wow. Harley Pro Tuner, an excellent tune. The Bassani pipe. This thing is a, uh, what a dream bike. What a dream bike. And that six shooter transmission. <laughs> I love the gauge right there on the top of these 12 inch rise bars. I love the positioning. I'm, I don't really feel like I'm reaching for the bars. I feel like I'm sitting almost straight up and down. I know I'm leaning a little bit forward, but the bars just seem to be in exactly the right spot. And the mirrors are awesome. Mirror, Harley mirrors are always awesome. I'm gonna bring the seat up because I, it just seems to make a lot of difference. It holds you right in spot, right in your middle back. Just what you'd want on a bike like this. Oh, listen to that. What a dream machine. What a dream. Uh, we might have had a little wheel slip there. <laughs> you know what I mean? This bike does have traction control and cruise control, by the way, and a real cruise control. You push it in to turn it on, down to set it, up to uh, go faster or reset it or hit resume. Okay, let's do a brake test. Holy moly, this thing has brakes. Normal Harleys have good brakes. This thing has brakes. A dual disc really make a heck of a lot of difference. My gosh, this thing is a monster, my friends. This thing, look at that. Whips around nicely. What a machine, what a machine. This has gotta be one of the 
funnest Harley Davidsons, for lack of a better word, that I've ever ridden. And this is factory. By the way, the mods they did, the engine tuner, the pipe, all of that stays within warranty. Within warranty. Maintain the Harley warranty. I am just so impressed with this. I can't remember the weight of the motorcycle I've had. We'll talk about that when we get back to the shop. But, uh, you know, I've talked about this before. Harley made a deal with the motorcycle gods. They get the uh, longer wheelbase and the higher weight, but they get the better handling and the lower seat height. Wow. It just, it's a sound from the gods. This is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Let's see what it does here. That was 60. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You need, the, you need the seat. You need the seat to hold you in place. That Harley six-shooter transmission is just a piece of art. So positive shifting. You always know when you're in gear. Of course, it has a gear indicator also. But what, what a, you know, it's just a rock-solid item. And it works so well with the clutch. And the clutch on a Harley always says, I know I say this every time, but the friction zone is so wide and so easy to manipulate. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. This is just amazing. All right, let's talk about... <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, back to business. Uh, handling, the motorcycle's handling. In the garage, this is a heavy motorcycle with an incredibly low center of gravity. It will take a lot of effort to get it moving, but it's easy to handle once it's moving. It is a heavy bike. Uh, driving it slow like this, you know, 20 miles an hour, 10, 5 to 25, 5 to 30 miles an hour. I think these bikes handle very well. They have been, uh, Harley has done a lot of work to make sure that they do that. Uh, above that, it's amazing what they do. I, I think they handle just phenomenally going down the road. And I love the seating position. Down the highway, well, this is a town bike for sure, but down the highway, I think it would do just fine. I love it. <laughs> what a dream machine. What a dream machine. Check out all these used bikes I got back here. Some of these are customer bikes, but look at them. Just beautiful. Beautiful. And they're getting new in all the time. That building right there, the toy box, there's probably 100 motorcycles in there alone. Just an amazing collection here. They have an inventory that just goes on and on and on. Lust Hills, Harley Davidson, LustHillsHD.com. They are worth the effort. And look at the beautiful hills you get to ride through. Get yourself down here and take one of these hot rods for a spin. Take this one for a spin before it goes. I'm not really sure where to start. That was just an amazing ride. This thing is a dream machine. This thing is exciting. This thing is powerful. This thing is loud. This thing is a piece of art. This thing is beautiful. This thing is masculine. It's a powerhouse. Powerhouse second to none. So let's start with the engine. 117 cubic inches from the factory. 1977 cc's this bike at the rear wheel puts out over 108 horsepower and 133 foot pounds of torque that's 180 newton meters at the back tire this has been dynoed what they did was they installed a harley street twin pro tuner covered by the warranty by the way they put this basanti pipe this absolutely gorgeous basanti pipe look at that isn't that just a piece of art the sound was phenomenal and then they gave it a special tune. You know, there's a lot more you could do with this. They just started the process. And with that little bit of effort, 133 foot-pounds of torque, 108 horsepower at the back wheel. It's a dream machine. It's an absolute dream machine. It needs the seat. The Saddleman seat, it definitely needs that. You know, something has to hold you in place. And uh, that is a very nice seat, and it did a very good job. Very good job. I liked it. Coming over here to the front, I think the discs are about 300 millimeters. This has a dual disc, they're floating. The brakes are Brembo's, four piston calipers. I've driven a lot of Harleys and they always seem to have good brakes. This one has amazing brakes. They all have good brakes. This one has extra amazing brakes. It just was phenomenal. And this is a bike that's not really that broken yet. You know, look at the size of that back disc. Isn't that something? Just a month. That, oh, that's a floating disc too with a two piston uh, Brembo. Gorgeous, you know, it's got the monoshock, the shock underneath here. I love the way that looks. Look at that. That whole rear end is just amazing. LED lights on the back, on the front. Uh, inverted forks, by the way, 43 millimeter inverted forks. I believe they're Showa. Bending valve, dual bending valve. They got the covers on them to protect the fork. I like that. That's something I always think you should have. 
it feels like a metal fender too by the way Harley just does it right I mean that whole front end alone you know starting with the wheels look at those gorgeous wheels beautiful tire 110 90 19 on the front the dual disc brakes floating disc brakes with the four piston calipers jumping up you know the inverted forks look at look at this coating on there the black on here you know it's different uh, Los Hills added these bars that raised everything up a foot with these uh, special grips. They put this special holder on to get the uh, instrument panel pod back on there. Just gorgeous. Look at the ends of these, just finished. Everything is just finished, you know? Everything is right, everything's in there. I mean, what a machine, what a machine. Dropping back down, you know, look at the coating on the engines. You know, on the trans with a six shooter trans, I can't forget to mention that thing. Harley transmissions are just a piece of art. You know, they're so positive shifting and they feel so good. They, they work like no other motorcycle. They, uh, they have their own special way of doing it. And I like it. And by the way, the heads are cooled, oil cooled. Here's an oil cooler down here. This is all air cooled. If you rub these, you'll find out that there's kind of a texture to each fin. Gives it a little more surface area. Single cam in the center, push rod engine. Four valves per cylinder. Two spark lugs per cylinder. So four spark lugs total. The rear tire is a 180-70-16. Mind blowing. Belt drive, by the way. Isn't that just amazing? Look at that fender. I love it. Right. Wheelbase on this hot rod, 63.6 inches. That's 1,615 millimeters. Ground clearance, 5.7 inches. That's pretty high for a Harley, by the way. That's about 145 millimeters. Stock Harley seat has 28.2 inches. That's 716 millimeters. I think I might have said a different number earlier, but it's 716 millimeters. 28.2 inches and uh, this has got a saddleman seat on I don't know how much that changes up or down But uh, it does not feel tall. It, it feels beautiful. Just beautiful five gallon tank It's about 19 liters Wait for the smoking hot rod. This is mind-blowing 679 pounds that's 308 kilograms. How does a bike with that much mass handle so well? And like I said earlier, you know, and have so much power Harley made a deal with the gods, the motorcycle gods. You know, they get the longer bike, the more mass number, but they get better handling. They get, uh, you know, the better sounding. They get the more lower seat. Everything just goes right. Beautiful. You know? uh, jumping up here real quick. Let's see if we can spark this thing to life. There's the gauge. I think that's about four inches. Christmas tree in there, ABS, traction control, fuel light, neutral light, all the goodies. Big old tack that sweeps across the top, just what you'd want on a bike like this. Hey, it has an oil light, an actual oil light. Every bike should have that. Down here is the speedometer, the odometer. Horn right here. Lights, high lows. And it feels like it has a flash to pass button. The left blinker, cruise control right there. Hazard lights, start button, on off switch. Looks like a traction control button and the right blinker. Now look at these grips, aren't those amazing? That is not stock. So different different levers, different grips, the raised up bars, raised up bars, relocated this. I am so impressed with this. I had no idea this is what I was going to be riding when I got here today. So this is quite the machine and I, I just have had a ball on it. It's a real piece of art. It's a real piece of art. If you all are interested in a bike like this or any other Harley Davidson, new or used, get yourself down to Lus Hills Harley Davidson. Exit uh, 35 on Interstate 29. Those are the beautiful Lust Hills over yonder. Get yourself on one of these, drive it, through the, you know, drive it through that path we took earlier. It's quite an amazing sight. These guys are here to help you out. Now, it's a beautiful day out here. Nice warm temperature. I think I'm gonna go for a ride. Y'all do the same. Life is good. Wahoo!